going on everyone, I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com here to give you my review on a game called God Mode. Now God Mode was a game created by Atlas, which is pretty much an arcade style game, which is a really a ton of fun. Now this version I'm going over is from the PC version. This game is also available on the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network. So let's quickly go over the different options you have in the game. So let's go ahead and just pop into the help and options menu. So if you need to learn how to play the game, you do have an option right up here that will teach you pretty much all the basics that you need to know in terms of the gold, what the test of face are all about and of course your abilities and oaths as well pretty simple right there now obviously if you're gaming on the pc one of the main things you are curious about is graphics what kind of graphics are you able to choose from in terms of the graphics it goes from low medium and high and you're able to choose a custom settings to choose whatever you want to fit your needs and of course you can change the screen resolution the contrast and brightness so you do have all the basic stuff that you need. Now let's say if the keyboard and mouse is not your preference, no problem there. You could just connect an Xbox 360 controller and use that if you wish. And of course you have about three different layouts. If you're a lefty, you could choose some lefty, the default settings, and so forth, which is a really nice addition to the game. But like I said, this game is also available on the console version. Now let's go ahead and check out another section, which is uh, this portion right here, which you're able to learn about the creatures of Hades that you'll be facing in this game. In this game, you do have a wide variety of characters in, this terms, in terms of creatures that you're able to battle throughout the game, and you'll be fa battling pretty much every single one of these creatures, and you're going to notice some reprieves like these guys right here. Basically, each one of these have a different ability. For example, this guy right here is basically in an undead element style, which he's going to use these annoying skulls that he throws at you. Not only that, one of the things I did notice, especially when I was playing one of the levels, I noticed all the enemies were coming back to life, and I noticed this guy was bringing the dead back to life the ones I just killed so yeah pretty much he's one of the annoying characters you're gonna be facing you got this guy right here which uh, when he's using his abilities he has like these electric electricity style attacks obviously this guy in flames he just get, he is gonna be providing a lot of fire damage at you and so forth and this guy is pretty much considered a boss and one of the levels so you do have bosses towards the end of the arcades which is really cool and same thing with these skeletons. These skeletons right here are going to be one of the main creatures you'll be facing. This type of skeleton right here is uh, causes slow. So basically when he hits you with your arrows, you're going to basically be moving slow for a brief amount of time. And of course you do have the undead zombies like these guys will explode on impact and so forth. So in terms of enemies, you do have a wide variety to choose from. In the quick match option, you're able to go in here, choose from whatever difficulty you want. Bronze is being the least difficulty. The uh, silver is the medium difficulty and gold is the highest difficulty and you just click start and it's going to automatically find a match for you and you're able to choose your O's in battle. So let me quickly go over the O's. The O's are basically um, extra abilities that you have. Now what this does is that if you select a oath, it's going to help you towards gaining more experience in gold. See if you're going to notice over here on the bottom of the description it tells you exactly what's going on for example the one I have right here on screen which is serpent which is uh, deactivated which means you're less effective at health pickups and of course you're gonna get about 10% bonus XP plus 50% more gold or maybe you want to choose the sword the hound spider thief warrior and scorpion so basically when you activate this that's gonna stay with you the all time all the time and you could choose to uh, get rid of it all you have to do is to select it once again to deselect that item you can choose whatever one you want the one I've been quite recently going with is this one right here and not only that you could even choose to use all these if you want so yeah it's gonna be a lot more difficult to see but uh, you do have the option so as you can see you have all the O's right there and having all those activated is going to provide a difficult challenge for you ahead of time. Not only that, you are able to customize your character. In the create a match mode, uh, you're able to invite friends into your little party going on, or you're able to play the single player portion if you prefer that. Like I said, you're able to choose from five different maps. You have the uh, Fire Lair, Fortress, ha uh, Hades Moon, Ascension, um, Balisk's Pits, hopefully I pronounced that right, Fire Lair, so far. Like I said, you have five different areas that you can play in, which is really nice. And like I said, you also have some character customization options. Here are the different weapons you're able to choose from. When you first start off the game, you're only given the SMG and the Double Barrel Shotgun. But uh, as you progress through the game, you do unlock more abilities and weapons to choose from. Just let me go ahead and just give you an example on some of the weapons in terms of what you're able to pick. 
So you do have a nice weapon, even a minigun. There's actually a minigun, which is pretty badass, but as you can see, that costs 80,000 gold and you need to be level 10. So, you know, getting these weapons does take a while to get to. I mean, it's going to be a slow start, but once you get the hang of the game, then you should be able to unlock everything in no problem. And another cool thing uh, in terms of the weapons is that you're able to upgrade the weapons as well. For giving an example, as you can see on the SMG slot, I have three, and the rest of these are pretty blank. So all you have to do is go to the modification screen, and you're able to upgrade from damage, accuracy, magazine, and you have this Olympian upgrade as well, which is a, basically a pimped out version of your weapon. So in terms of weapons you're able to choose from, and the customization from your guns, uh, pretty nice addition. Too bad you can't have like you know some camouflage going on or some type of like weird blood effect on your gun. I thought that would be pretty cool, but it's all right. It's no big deal. And you're also to able to change your appearance. So maybe you want the head of a zombie or something else. Like so let me go ahead and switch this around. Uh, in terms of the faces, you have about one, two, three, four, five, six different faces to choose from, and they all repeat, but they have different themes to them. Like maybe a pirates or a soldier or maybe you want to be a fighter barretts and so forth so you do have a nice customizations in terms of your face you also have customization towards your torso so if you want to select you know a different torso to choose from you do have that given option same thing goes with the legs you do have a nice variety to choose from and of course last but not least is accessory so maybe you want some put some shades on your character, pimp them out some more. You know, like I said, you do have you're able to make a unique character from uh, different from everyone else. It's not a huge selection, but you do have a variety, and it's pretty much one of the reasons why you want to keep coming back to this game, just to unlock every single thing in it, which is a ton of fun. Now let's go ahead and jump in the gameplay, what I think about the graphics, and what I think about overall in the game. Now I know one of the main questions is, what is God mode and what is it about? Well, first off, there is no story mode of any kind, which is alright. The best way I can possibly try to describe this game that it's a third person arcade shooter of mindless fun and this game is a ton of fun. Now basically you're a demigod sent to the world of Hades with a guidance that's going to help you through your journey to become a god and this guy I swear to god when you first hear him in the menu you're like who the hell is this guy. He is pretty funny. On occasion, when certain things go on, he gets pretty funny. Here's an example of a funny bit that he says. You've always wondered, why did the chicken cross the road? What drove him to do so? Quite the philosopher, aren't you? So one day you decided that you personally would find an answer to this age-old question. You bought a chicken, laid it beside the road, and then followed it. But you never saw that speeding ice cream truck, and as your life slipped away to the tinkling melody of green sleeves, your only regret was that you never found out why the chicken crossed the road. Now that's just one example of many in terms of the humor in the game. Now let's go ahead and jump in the gameplay. I'm pretty sure that's why most of you are here, and that's what you want to find out about. Well, like I said, the, the gameplay is real simple. You basically, from start to finish, compete in what's called the arena battles. Now the arenas are what you call test of faith. Now the test of faith is every time you enter a new arena, you're going to see this glowing orb that's going to be different each and every time. You're going to see one that says thief. And if it's called thief, basically you're not able to pick up any health packs or ammunition. There are other modes called feather mode where the enemies are light as a feather. And what I mean by that is that when you shoot the enemies, their body parts are floating in the air, basically like a feather. There's this funny mode that kicked in called Party Time or Party Hats where all the enemy soldiers had some type of random party hat in the game. So it, this game is pretty funny. And there's other modes where the enemies are miniatures where it's going to play all the voices backwards and so forth. And every time you compete complete the test of phase and depending on what difficulty you choose from and if you chose to partake an oath in the beginning of the game, you're going to get a pretty good terms of bonus experiences in the game and every time you complete each of the levels like I said there's a total of five levels that you're able to choose from you're going to grant it a big reward at the end basically you're set into this little building and you are set to collect as much gold pieces as possible which does end up getting challenges yeah challenging if you're playing in terms of a co-op portion 
Now let me go ahead and go over the online features of what I think about the co-op portion with playing with other players or with friends. First off, there's one issue that I noticed on the PC version is that when people have microphones, there are no way, basically no way in the game that I saw in the menu options to mute that person. When I tried to select the player, it said there are no options for this player. And you know, it was basically a raging person. At times it could be funny, but other times they just get strictly annoying and you just want to mute them, but there's no possible way to do that. So I'm pretty sure there may be a patch later on within the game to give you that certain option, but just be aware if you're on the PC version, there's no way to mute the opposing players at all. And of course, another thing in terms of the co-op, now like I said, you're able to complete with everyone in terms of completing all the different rounds. But this is where uh, things kind of get a bit greedy, is that in terms of the, you know, the power-ups and stuff like that in the game, you're able to pick up health packs, which are re represented in red, the armor, which is blue, and ammunition, which is green. Now, basically, if, you know, your co-op partner goes over that, they take that ammunition, basically, you're left with nothing. So, in terms of the items on the map, it's basically, most people are going to be greedy, taking all the different items, leaving you with nothing, basically, left to die. So, it does get... You know, basically that's the portion where I see it as a nice competition and of course try, trying to see who gets the most kills at the very end. But overall in terms of the co-op portion or even playing by yourself, it is a ton of fun. The graphics I do like overall and so forth. And of course one thing I did forget to mention that in your character you have abilities to choose from. The first ability that you have right away when you first start the game is called a shield. Basically you start taking less damage and you're able to upgrade those abilities as well. And you have different ones providing you with more armor or ways to revive yourself and all, all those kinds of things. So you do have abilities in the game in which you are able to upgrade. So the gameplay is pretty much basic, simple, but a ton of fun. You are able to play alone or with other online players. The graphics are really nice for, you know, like this is a $10 game or $15 game. So the graphics overall for what it is is really nice and it works out quite well. There was no frame rate issues that I've seen, like there's no parts in the game or slow down at all, unless if you have a slower rig then, you know, that may cause that. But the game was like, really smooth, it was a ton of fun, a ton of humor, and this is a game that I think a lot of you guys will like. Now if you don't like the arcade style third person shooter of mindless fun, then it may not be for you. But if you do, then this game is definitely well worth your money. To the point where I'm going to give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Like I said, there was that issue with the microphone, and there's a small issue, it only happened about twice where the AI enemy AI was kind of dumb just a couple of times but other than that it rarely ever happens but you know the only real issue that I have is just the mic issue that you're not able to mute your you know the other online players but other than that this game is a ton of fun one of a highly recommend like I said this game is also on the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Live Arcade anyways that's it for my review if you guys have any questions feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and remember Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming